Hi guys. Yesterday I went to a meeting and I met the soldier that had been in the in the army for six to seven years. And as you can see behind me, this is an image of him. And and he was in the U.S. Army for from six to seven years ever since he came out of high school. He he was also talking about how he um wanted to he had got into the army and also why he joined. He said he had always wanted to be in the army. And when he was a senior in his high school, the military came to school and told them about told him about the military. They also had given him form for people who wanted to join the military. They also had to do a pull up test, and he, the soldier was really good at. It. One day, the military called him and told him that he had really good grades, and if he could join the military if he wanted. He had always been wanting to go to the military and being a part of it, so he said yes. But since he just came out of high school, he wasn't old enough to sign his own contract. His parents had to sign it, saying that he they allowed him to go to the army. They made him from a normal person to a soldier. They had been doing this by getting his hands very dirty, by climbing ropes, doing tire jumps, and, and tr treading through the mud. There were many more activities that he did, to make him to a soldier. He had loved get doing this ever since he was in Boy Scouts. We had seen videos of him shooting guns from tanks and all sorts of other places. It wasn't just all of the work that he was doing because if he was working so much, he would also need to eat a lot. So he bought some meals that he would eat there and they were all around 2000 calories in total. This might seem like a lot, but this doesn't. This isn't a lot for this soldier because they also are working so much that they get hungry a lot. So two thousand calories might be good for them. This also includes all all types of meal. So this isn't just one bag of food per meal. And then you need to eat three of these per day. So that'd be around six thousand calories. Also, this food could be eaten either warmed or normally, meaning that you, you could just eat it straight out of the bag, or if you wanted to warm it, you could. He would need to bring these bags with him whenever he was also on a mission. So, like, when he was on a mission, he'd need to go around and then um, bring these with him so that he doesn't get hungry. And he was um on his own to bringing it because nobody else would bring it for him. Also. When when he was at not on a mission, he would be at this place in his camp, one of his camps, right? He was basically having a he was having a break time because after all the work he would do, he would also be free. In his free time, he would be able to be in his room, not really a room, but like the very big room for like five or six people, and they would have a TV in it where they could watch whatever they want. Also. They could. They had a pool room where they could. With they could use. They also had a few restaurants where they could eat. Also, when they were deployed, they would be able to go around the around other places and then eat the food there too. This is where I learned about the army and all about him too. Bye.